make that candy land. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to sit down and film a little bit of a get ready with me while I'm chatting with you guys. I haven't done something like that before. Um, and I just thought I'd share a bit about my life and everything. Also, I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Facebook, so I'll also be answering them if I get any. <laughs> so, yeah, just stay tuned if you want to see how I get ready with the, like, a yellow summery... Uh, no, not summer, because we're actually in autumn, but... If you want to see this look, just keep watching. So, I'm just going to use this, um, Osa Heavenly Lip Balm. This is in Vanilla Cupcake, I think it is. And I always put this on my lips. Like, I never really show this in my videos and stuff because I just think it's unnecessary. And then I just kind of rub them in and, you know, just to kind of prep my lips before I start with the rest of my face. And then I'm going to go in with the Nivea Post Shea Balm. This, I'm not going to claim the name to fame with this one because a lot of people I've spoken to, they're like, that's the best idea ever. Um, but it's not me who came up with it, like, it was Nikki Tutorials, and gosh, I just love her lighting and her filming and everything like that, so. And it definitely starts turning tacky, like, the reasoning behind it is because there's glycerine in it, so glycerine makes stuff stick to it. Um, and that's basically why it grabs onto your foundation. I'm gonna go in with L'Oreal Infallible. And I'm just going to use a flat top kabuki brush from my candy cane collection. This one was the blue, sky blue one, but this one is discontinued. I have them in black and white now, so I'm just going to apply that all over. So if you guys follow me on social media, you'll probably see that I've been busy with my studio. I mean, more on Facebook. I post on Facebook more about that. Oh my goodness, you guys, like, if you want to test your relationship, like, definitely um, commit to a DIY project because that's what my studio is. It was supposed to be just something we could do ourselves and I could just be creative and come up with all these ideas and incorporate some things I saw on Pinterest and that sort of thing. Just to kind of, like, create a nice vibe in my studio and whatnot. Um, but I promise you, like, it's not as easy as it sounds, or looks, even. Um, me and Kevin, we, we, like, when we walk into that studio, it's like, we are trying to find something to fight about. Um, but, to be honest, like, we just, you know, you sort it out, and you get over it, and kiss and make up, or whatever, but... It is quite a little bit of a challenge, because, like, I always have these insane ideas... And then um, sometimes they just don't work, you know, they're not like, there's just no way you can make them work and it's just a lot of trouble. So mainly the jam jar lights were going up this Sunday. And then I think tonight we're just going to finish the mirror lights because at my mirror I'm also going to have like the bulbs running down. And it's like a very rustic, fun feel um please 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 like my facebook page candy cane studio if you haven't already oh no i wanted to color correct i got this little cheap thing from this game like a long time ago and every single time i put it out and i forget to film with it okay so i'm gonna go in with the uh, catrice camouflage um waterproof concealer i actually really like this concealer it's really nice for highlighting so i'm just gonna pop that under my arms so tomorrow i'm going to pretoria to do a bridal trial she hasn't booked me yet so we're gonna see what she wants to have done and then hopefully i'll have another bride to do I love doing brides what do I want to blend this out with? I don't know. I think I'm going to go for this flat top brush. Today would be more like a natural look for me, I'd say. <laughs> because I like doing like the all, uh, all out 
out there kind of makeup but yeah i'm so bad with cleaning my brushes i'm just looking like my table here is a mess and i have to clean up because i have to pack my stuff for tomorrow um but my friend pink peonies i'll link her channel up here or maybe link it down below and put a picture up here but she is so good with cleaning her makeup brushes like when you when you see her desk and all the brushes are there like everything is like crisp white it looks brand new but i just suck at cleaning my stuff like look at this it's so dirty like it's dusty and stuff i don't know i'm bad so um to set everything i'm just going to use the sephora face palette this is not available in south africa um a friend of mine went to las vegas and he brought this back for me so that is why i've got it um and then i also got a cute one from some new friends i made in bloemfontein um if you're ever in bloemfontein make sure to visit the salon they are just so so amazing such nice people blushy <laughs> it is blush uh yeah i don't know what i'm saying but anyways so now i'm just gonna go in with like this warmer shade and i'm going to do a little bit of contouring nothing too hectic like i said we are keeping it natural i'm so upset with myself i can't believe what i did mac brushes are super expensive i don't know if you guys have ever looked at their prices but i have two brushes from them that i absolutely love with my life i don't remember the names the numbers because they rubbed off already but the one is like an eyeshadow brush i mean an eyebrow brush a lot of people like using that for eyeliner as well but it's like an angled brush so it almost looks like this like this little angled brush over here um but it's not i don't know it's just amazing and then i've also got the little fun eyeliner brush which i also quite like um and yeah what happened was i did someone's makeup at a lady salon close to me allison and um, i thought that i maybe lost it there but oh let me just check in the boot maybe it's there and then i found it there but i was in such a rush because i had to get to the client that i was training so i think i accidentally put it in the moroccan oil bag oh here we go here's that palette I, I, I was used to having Moroccan oil bags with me, so it was always in my car. And I think I picked it up, put it in there. I'm using this like peachy shade. Um, yeah, so I went and dropped off all the stuff yesterday. And now I was looking for my eyebrow brush and I just can't find it. So, I'm doomed. I, I actually think that I did, so lost case i want to try this highlighter shade which is like this x one because i haven't tried that before so i'm just going to use like an angled candy cane lip brush just to pick that up over there and let's see what this is all about i don't know if you guys can see that it's not oh well let's just roll with it shall we Okay, for the eyebrows, I'm going to whip out my old fancy Catrice eyebrow set. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm in, and then it's got like this applicator and little brush thingy. So I'm just using, well, it's called a spoolie. And I'm just using this to brush up my hairs. And then because I don't have my famous favorite mac brush i'm just gonna opt for the essence one which i'm not too crazy about but gotta make it work so so like i mentioned earlier i have to get ready to film like a hair tutorial because i'm doing a collab with jessica van Yerden. um she's I don't know if she's fairly new onto YouTube or whatever, but I saw her on Instagram and I thought that she was absolutely beautiful. So uh, we just started chatting after that and then we decided, okay, we're going to film like a collab video together, maybe like a fall or autumn. 
um, he tutorial or something like that so she's the one who posted on my little status update um, asking me what inspired me to start my own YouTube channel um, and lots of love um, so what inspired me was I actually talk about the story on my website where as a child I would love the way my mom put on her makeup and my mom wasn't someone to really wear makeup that often the way makeup would just change her face so you know I was just obsessed with it and then I think I was a teenager so I could start experimenting with makeup a little bit and my mom bought me these books um, at CNA like that you would buy these brows I don't know get like a little makeup item in them can you see it's because I don't have my favorite eyeshadow I mean eyebrow brush brush Ugh. whatever as I finished with school it was like the best part for me to wear my hair down and put on some makeup um you know then I was working an internship as I mean in an in internship program I don't know how to say that um, internship I was running an internship or whatever at um, an HR I was in HR and um, one day I was on YouTube and I was looking for something um, and then I saw this video like a makeup tutorial and I thought what the hell is this so when I went on there I discovered YouTube obviously makeup tutorials and I was like obsessed I was I couldn't wait to get home just to try and practice what I've learned at that stage I was watching um, I didn't even tell you what I'm using I'm using Catrice just to carve out my brow at that stage I was watching Jessica Harlow and Julia Graf and who was the other person not long after that I discovered Shannon Shanex O and she wasn't famous at all at that stage like she was kind of just an average youtuber like me just trying to make a living <laughs> i'm just kidding um but yeah and that just really inspired me to also do makeup tutorials you know you know what it is okay, i literally can't find anything that i'm looking for okay i'm gonna use soft ochre by mac paint pot and um, can I just tell you guys that I'm not happy with MAC at this stage. Uh, I haven't been buying products from them for a while now. And the main reason is that um, obviously I have a MAC Pro card. So it means that you're a makeup artist and you get 30% off of your purchase. Um, but then also some of the MAC stores in South Africa don't... Okay, this is a fly, so irritating, like, honestly. The Mac stores in um, South Africa, they don't, like, you can't buy with your pro card there, which means that you don't get 30% discount. And for me, I used to buy, like, two grand's makeup, you know, stock up on some makeup, and then have 30% discount, which is quite a big deal. I think it's, like, 600 rand, maybe. Big amount of money. And the closest Mac store to me. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the ink light color. This is like a very orangey warm toned color. Um, I'm just gonna sweep that onto my crease area um, and then continue with my little story. The one girl I really liked moved to Bedford Center. Um, she was amazing and then there's another girl from PE which I like but every time I went there it's like she wasn't there so I had to deal with the other people and then one day I was there and I, could, I, I was looking for gold deposit but at that stage I couldn't remember the name and it's basically a bronzer for Caucasian skin or any pale kind of skin it's not really suitable because you know it's so so dark just getting under this eye uh, anyways and they were so rude to me and the more I told this girl that I just I'm looking for a bronzer like it's very dark it's for dark skin um, like it's not really suitable for like very light skin um, she kept telling me soft and gentle and I was just getting so irritated and they were getting 
like so rude so i was just like you know what just leave it and then i gave her the items that i wanted and i asked for the mac studio fix so now i'm just kind of blending the edges a little bit i asked for the mac studio fix loose i mean the mac mineralized loose powder which is this one it's like a loose powder to set your face because i don't like the compact one and um, she gave me one and as i walked out i was just like i was telling kevin listen i feel like never buying mac products again because they're just so rude and then i was like let me just check the products i have to see if they're the correct one and then she gave me a compact one so i went back in the store i was like listen yeah um you gave me the compact one i wasn't rude i was like sorry but could i maybe just change this because you gave me the compact one and she's like and, and i said i wanted the mineral one she's like well you said you wanted compact and i looked at her i was like i'm sorry i said mineralized loose powder you know and and even the girl that manages the i don't know if she's still there but the mac pro card items she is so so rude so that just really put me off from you know buying mac products just in case you guys want but so that's why i tried some inglot products um and i think i'll probably renew my mac pro card and then just maybe go to santon city which is a bit of a drive for me but you want that's what you gotta do i don't know i got distracted just now butterfly beach i have a blog post on my blog i talk about buying colourpop or anything from america so, so yeah you guys can just go read that i'll link it down below yes so i'm just popping that onto the lid area but it's just gonna give it a little bit of a nice daisy from creative glamour um and it's like a bright yellow they do have a facebook page but their website's been under construction for for an ever so i'm not sure but you can definitely buy their products from um you know the beauty expo pro beauty and um, they have a nice stand there with some insane specials so yeah very pigmented very nice shades but I'm just really popping this into my inner corner, like covering quite a big area. Well, once you're happy with that, I'm just going to go in with that funny orangey shade again from the Inglot. <sighs> that's basically it. Like I've been talking more than doing makeup, but that's the look. So now you can just apply some mascara. But for me, I'm just going to put some lashes on because I want a bit more of a dramatic effect. Effect. So I'm gonna use these Lux lashes, Luxy lashes. I'm not quite sure if you pronounce Lux or Luxy, um, but these are the Penelope ones, and these are the ones that I prefer. Make sure you get that quite close to the lash line. Okay, Annika Klute van Heerden. She asked me, "What did the means alles in your makeup nodig?" If you guys are from america let me just translate that or any other country uh, she's just basically asking me what i need in my make in your makeup kit and for me if it's a if it's a makeup artist kit like i'm obviously not gonna go through all the items but i think the main important thing would definitely be different shades of foundations um so the nice thing also is that sometimes you don't really have the money to invest in a full range of foundation colors and stuff so what's nice from the body shop is that they actually have darkening and lightening drops so say for instance you have a few like you can have like five shades of foundations and then just use the lightening and darkening drops from the body shop to darken or lighten the foundation shade to match your client's skin tone and then the other thing i would say to always have in your kit would definitely be brush cleaner and um, the one i use is also from creative glam this is what it looks like this brush cleaner you just spray that on a paper towel wipe your brush in there and it cleans it um it cleans it cleanses it <laughs> so i'm just going to use l'oreal telescopic to quickly blend my lashes in um 
and then yeah the other thing i would also say you need definitely definitely need is some wet wipes just to clean out any fallout or wipe off your foundation brush or you know just for your client to clean her face before you start that's really like a must have for me i would definitely definitely say so it seems like we're getting somewhere with this eye look i just feel like i've been rambling um next question we have nadine but she said, what advice do you have for freelance starters or any makeup beginners? So for me, I freelanced for at least four years. And it's really just to make sure that the work you put out there is really, really good quality work. And the pictures that you take must be really, really nice. So, I mean, you don't need a professional, professional camera. But you can take nice pictures with your phone in front of a window, just with natural light to really... Just accentuate the beautiful features of your makeup or your face. Um, and then the rest of it will come by itself, I think. Word of mouth will obviously spread for me. That has helped me a lot with people talking about me and referring other people to me. That is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I would mainly say that you have to have a passion for it. A lot of people want to like pack up and leave their job and do this immediately. And it's not that easy. You definitely have to work your, work your way up, you know. So yeah, that would just be my advice. Sandra asked me what inspires me. So I just want to put on some lipstick as well. I'm going to go with uh, Kind of Sexy from MAC. Um, so yeah, what inspires me constantly. So people who are just driven in life, they want to be successful, women who are independent, um, people who are just kind at heart, who love animals, who love working with people, that inspires me. Um, I'm also really, really inspired by all of you guys because you guys inspire me to be inspired to do this. Um, so yeah that is it i don't know if i'll be able to answer any question any more questions but yeah this is the makeup look and yeah it's just very natural very easy to do with a yellow oh my goodness i didn't even do my my lower lash line i ha only have shadow there <laughs> wait a minute you know what i'm just gonna pop mascara on there i think that's that's all we need but I don't know what's causing it. I really, really don't know what is causing it. <laughs> Can someone help me? Like, why do I have these bands on my videos? I don't know. I need some help with them. I don't know. I can't get these bands away. These, like, things running down the video. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm going to start filming my hair tutorial in a minute but so i hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me let me know if you want to see more of these type of videos um and what you want me to share more personal stuff more makeup related stuff until next time you guys must stay sweet and then i'll talk to you soon bye